Yoga Fix videos today. And today we are going to be doing happy hamstrings. So I know many of us have tight hamstrings. Um, it's a tight muscle. We're using it all the time. And then it also gets really tight when we do not use our muscles. So when we're sitting for a long time, it shortens the hamstrings. And then when we don't stretch them, there's poor circulation in our hamstrings, and then it takes longer for us to recover from our activities, running, walking, walking upstairs, uh, biking. So today we are going to make our hamstrings really happy with a nice stretch, nice vinyasa flow, and uh, we will need a strap today. So I have a proper strap. If you have one, you can use it. If you do not, you can use a really long belt, or maybe if you have the belt of a robe, that'll work really nicely too. And then our usual suspects, if you want a block or a blanket or a beach towel to have handy, that's always really nice to have. Some water, a towel, wipe off your sweat, or cover your eyes during our Shavasana. All right, so let's get started. We're gonna get started in a comfortable seated position. So crossing at the shins. And maybe this is difficult because the legs are feeling a little tight. So use those blocks or the blankets, you know, to sit up a little bit, you know, prop underneath your legs and then press through your heels so you're not collapsing into the ankles. And then just welcome yourself to the mat for a moment. Congratulate yourself for taking this step, turning on the video, pulling at your mat. Don't get distracted. Give yourself at least five or ten minutes into this and see how you start settling in. And it takes a little bit. So as you root down through the sit bones, kind of move through the shoulders, and anything that you brought with you to the mat that's not gonna serve you during your practice, maybe a conversation you had just before this, maybe a thought, maybe your to-do list, it's gonna be there. And that conversation, maybe you'll have some new insight if it wasn't a pleasant conversation. So let that go for a moment. It's okay to step away and to take a break. So close the eyes and then begin to bring the attention to your breath. You know, we're in some anxious times right now, so we fi might find ourselves holding our breath a lot more frequently than we usually do. And that makes us more anxious. It makes our muscles more tight. And then whatever came up on that breath cycle, let it go. It's just that observation. And that's why we take the time on the mat to become aware. So take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then open the mouth and just release. Let it go. Get a couple more times. Nice deep inhale. And then exhale. Just let it go. Let there be a sound with it. And just that slump through the body. Make it visceral. Make it happen. And then when you're done, take a smooth breath in through the nose and then exhale through the nose. And then continue that, breathing in and out. Cultivating a nice long inhale. Calming the body right here with your breath. Controlling that. So bringing to mind the happy hamstrings, it's not just going to happen. And the same within our lives. Happiness isn't just going to happen. We need to make it happen. You can find happiness if you walk outside and see a butterfly on a plant and let that make you happy. It's your perspective. It's the mindfulness. not waiting for an external circumstance to happen to make you happy. Be happy in the moment. Be happy right here, right now for this break. Good, two more breath cycles. And then keep that long breath and we're going to take it with our movement. Inhale, all the arms, allow the arms to lift out and up, palms face one another. Reaching up, reach up to the fingertips, turn your head to the left, and then turn your head to the right. And then come, sex, come back center, bring the elbows, bring the elbows to the rib cage, open your heart. 
Begin to open up mentally, physically, energetically to your practice. Inhale, let the arms reach up. Exhale, rotate to your right side. One hand can come down to the knee. Bring your right hand back behind you. Nice little twist. Maybe the gaze comes over the right arm, right shoulder. And then inhale, lift the arms up. Let the torso come back center, letting the breath guide you. Exhale, come to your left side in that rotation. Gently let the left shoulder back. Press down through the sit bones. And then inhale, let the arms lift up, let the torso come center. Staying nice and tall on the spine, let the fingertips come down to the floor on either side. And you're reaching out. You're going to gently take a nice deep inhale. On an exhale, slide your fingertips over to the right. Slide the hands enough that you can still root down through the right sit bone, right press down through the ground. So don't lean over, keep pressing down. Left arm is going to reach up and over. Turn your gaze down the right arm. And being nice and active through this pose, gently getting to the stretch. And then coming out of the pose, use your inhale to lift the left arm, left fingertips down to the floor, torso nice and tall. Slide the hands over to the left, well, the left hand over to the left. And again, rooting down through the right sit bone. Frontal sit bones come up. You know, bring them up. I'm not the sit bones, sorry, but your hip bones, shoulders back. And then let the right arm reach up. And then turn the arm down. I'm going to turn your gaze down the left arm. And then inhale, coming out of the pose, let the right fingertips come down to the ground. Inhale, let the arms reach out. On an exhale, let the palms come together. Let the thumbs come to the heart center. So after just a little bit of connection with the breath and with the movement, I ask you here to find an intention or to set your intention for the practice. And I already set kind of the theme for the happiness. So uncover the happiness that can happen here on your mat in the simple motions of the body and the movements and the deep breaths. And then gently, if your eyes are closed, blink the eyes open and let's come into a tabletop. You're going to bring your wrists beneath the shoulders, knees below the hips. Inhale, come through a cow pose, shoulders back, heart opens, tailbone up to the sky. Pull the belly in, round the back, come into cat pose. And then do that a few more times. Breath for movement. Happy spine. Happy body. Breathing really deep through the body. Deliver that oxygen. Deliver the peace, the calm that happens when we breathe nice and deep. And then coming back through center, pressing the earth away. Inhale, let the right arm reach forward. Left leg is going to reach out. And then press back, beginning to activate the muscles in the legs as you reach back through that left heel, as if it was pressed onto the wall behind you. On an exhale, hand and knee come down. Find the balance, the knees below the hips, the wrists beneath the shoulders. Left arm reaches out, right leg reaches back behind. Feel what happens here in the lower back. Bring the frontal hip bones up. Press down through the earth a little bit more through that right hand. Feel the extension, that activity happening through that back right leg. And then exhale, hand comes down, knee comes down. Swing the legs around. Bring the legs out in front of you. Heels to the floor, toes up to the sky. So here we're really going to... Um, have a little conversation with our hamstrings start right away. So you can put a slight bend into the knees. Inhale, let the arms reach up. And then on the exhale, you're going to hinge forward. And maybe this is all that's happening. We're just starting to warm up. So let the hands come down to the floor. Release out of the lower back. And then maybe there's a little bit more space that can happen, but I don't want you forcing it. Just that activation of reaching the chest toward the top of the feet. Maybe the hands are down onto the ground, or maybe they're on your shins, gently nudging your chest forward, pulling yourself forward, but at the same time rooting down through your sit bones and the hips back, just finding some length. 
And then coming out of the pose, keep pressing the heels into the ground. Inhale, you can slide your hands along the shins, lift up through the torso. Put a bend back into the knees again. Bring the soles of the feet together. And again, root down through the sit bones. Hands can slide down through the shins. You can press maybe your elbows into the inner thighs. Or maybe you can hold the outer edges of the feet. And then gently what you're doing is you're pressing the feet into the hands or to the earth. You're lifting up a little taller through the torso. Your elbows are pressing down into the inner thighs. Good, and allow that breath to lengthen through the spine. Keep pressing the feet in toward one another. If you want a little bit more sensation, send the chest forward. Okay, again, just that easy introduction to what's happening in your body right here, right now. The happiness and being able to discover what's happening here. And inhale, slowly lift the torso up. Feet are going to come to the floor, the knees bent. Now we're going to roll down to the mat, using your abdominals, slowly bringing the torso down. Draw the knees into the chest, hug in. Left foot's going to come down to the floor. You're going to take right above the right ankle, cross it over the top of the left thigh. And then even here, we're still just warming up. You're going to take your right hand, press it into the right inner thigh, and gently just press it away. Keep pressing through the right heel. Left foot keep presses, keeps pressing down into the ground. And notice when we discover a tight area in the body, you know, maybe it starts like, creeping up into the shoulders or to your face. Observe that. Take that scan of the breath through the body and then just roll the shoulders back. Soften your face. You can gently replace the right foot back to the floor and then the left ankle crosses over the right. And then gently pressing your left hand into the left inner thigh. Your mind's going to wander, bring it back to the breath. And then gently releasing the cross, draw the knees into the chest, hug in. Allow the legs to reach up to the sky. And you're going to point through the toes, feel that nice stretch at the top of the shins. You're going to flex through the heels, feel that nice stretch of the calves and hamstrings, and then just Alternate through that, flexing, pointing. And bend the knees as you need. Good, one more time each way. And then draw the knees back into the chest, hug in. Hands are going to come back behind the hamstrings. Gently rock yourself back up, legs out. Feet to the sky, toes up to the sky, arms are going to reach up one more time, hinging forward. Slide the hands along, inhale, rise, bring the legs back behind you, tabletop. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale through tabletop. Come into a child's pose, toes together, knees open up wide, sink your hips back. Okay, let this be a nice active child's pose. We're going to be adding on, moving away from the warm-up, but always take the practice according to how you are today. Keep pressing down through the hands, send the chest down toward the floor. Keep the toes pressing in. Knees can be open as wide or as little as you need. And then inhale, slide the hands back through tabletop. Bring the right arm out in front of you, balancing tabletop again. Send the left leg out. Put a bend into the left knee. You're going to reach the right hand around. So either maybe your hand can reach to the heel or the top of the foot, or you can grab your strap or your belt, and you can place it around the foot. You can hold on. Press the top of the foot into your hand or the strap. Okay, gently releasing. Knee down, release the strap, back through tabletop, switch sides. Left arm's going to reach out, right leg reaches back. 
Good, put a bend into the right knee. Left hand's gonna come around to the ankle or the top of the foot. Okay, press the hand in, put the foot into the hand or the strap. And then gently releasing the leg and the arm. Come back through tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Okay, come back through tabletop. Move the hands to the top of the mat. And then we're going to let the shoulders come over the wrists, coming into that kneeling plank. Curl the toes under, lift the knees, coming into a full plank. And here you're going to feel that activity in the hamstrings. But engage your thighs to help. And then press the earth away, lift the hips up and back, coming to a downward facing dog. And this is always a nice stretch on the hamstrings. Pedal through your legs. Nice and easy. And the focus isn't just on the hamstrings here. Are you pressing through the pinky? Are you pressing through your thumb? Are you pressing down through all fingers? Down into the ground. And then gently, you're going to still the movement. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step the feet to the top of the mat, forward fold. And in your forward fold, let it be a relaxing position. You're releasing out of the lower back. Knees are bent a lot and the chest may be resting onto your thighs. You're folding into yourself. And then here's a little bit more hamstring activation. Hands slide along the shins. Lift your torso so you can lengthen it. Our Ardha Uttanasana, your half, your shoulders are back, your chest is to the ground, your gaze is down. Press evenly through all four corners of the feet. Good. And like I said, you can probably feel that a little bit more in the hamstrings, hamstrings, but make sure there's just that little bit of sensation. And then exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way to standing. Let the arms come out and up. Exhale, bend the elbows, open up through the heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, let the hands come back behind you. Interlace through the fingers, weaving the fingers in. Palms can come together. Open up through the chest, hips come forward. Reach the clasp hands down. Inhale, lift the torso, release the arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the elbows, hips forward, open your heart. Inhale, up. Exhale, swan back down, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, step the left foot back. Come to a runner's lunge. Come down to the left knee. Slide the hands back to straighten the right leg, heels to the floor, your right toes up to the sky. So just when we were forward folding earlier, let that chest reach to the top of the foot. And the challenges and challenge in the poses as we started adding on, getting into the hamstring a little bit deeper. And then gently put a bend into the knee, come back through the kneeling, the alignment, the knee over the ankle. Curl the back toes, lift the back knee, reach out through the left leg. Left hand comes to the floor to a block. You're going to rotate your torso to the right. And maybe start it slow at first. Your right hand comes to the thigh. And then maybe reach that right arm up. Be nice and stable on that right leg, strong through that back leg. We strengthen and we get that nice stretch. Exhale, right hand comes down. Step the right foot back to plank. Come down to the knees, shoulders over the fingertips. Lower all the way down to the mat. Move the hands back to the base of the ribs if you need. Elbows come in. Inhale, baby cobra. And then exhale, lower down. Put a bend into the knees, and you're going to let your legs come over to one side, and then the other side. Just gently let them fall over to the right, and then over to the left. Keep an engagement in the belly, protect the lower back. And then gently come back through center, feet to the floor, press down through the hands, inhale, lift into Upward facing dog, shoulders back and down, thighs can be off the chest. 
If that's not happening, come down to the knees. Be strong through the legs and then exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float your feet, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart. Your foundation, your breath, inhale, up. Exhale, swan dive down, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, step the right foot back. Plant it down. Read through the ball of the feet. Find that extension at first and then gently put that right knee down. Slide the hands back, straighten the left leg. Heel to the floor, toes up to the sky, engage the belly. And then put a bend back into that left knee. Again, the alignment, left knee over the right ankle. <laughs> How about the left knee over the left ankle? Curl the back toes, lift the back leg. Lift the back knee, keep pressing back through the right heel. Plant through the right hand, open the torso. Shoulders back and down. Adding that rotation, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, left hand comes down, step the left foot back. Shoulders over the fingertips. Bend your elbows, you can come down to the knees if you need. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra or high cobra. Exhale, lift the hips, come back to a downward facing dog. Here, pedaling through your legs a little bit more. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float your feet, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the elbows, open through the heart. Inhale, reach up through the arms, shoulders back and down. Extended to Dasana, our extended mountain pose. And we're going to come into a chair pose. Press the hips back. Let the toes lift up. Make sure you're not dumping into your lower back. So engaging our thigh muscles, opposite, right in front of those hamstrings. On an exhale, fold into forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, step your left foot back. Come into a runner's lunge. Lengthen through the spine. Slide the hands back, again, straighten through the right leg. Leave the right toes on the floor this time. Round over the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Back heel comes down, front heel, back arch alignment. Put a bend into the right knee and rise to warrior two. Open up through the hips. Reach out through the fingertips. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Reach forward, coming into our side angle, our right forearm onto the thigh. Rotate the torso to the left. Left arm reaches up. Inhale, lift back up through warrior two. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Pivot back to a runner's lunge. Step the right foot back, moving through our vinyasa. Your choice here. Happiness in your movements and your choice. Be happy with it. Exhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, bend the knees, step or float the feet, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, bend the elbows, open up. Back bend, hips forward. Inhale, reach up, extended mountain pose. Exhale, chair pose. Maybe make this a little bit deeper. deeper. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, step the right foot back. Find that runner's lunge, lengthen through the spine. Slide the hands, you can straighten the left leg. Round the back over the left thigh. Keep drawing that right hip forward. Stay connected to what you're feeling. You never want to be in pain. 
You feel that little exertion of a stretch, but that is all. Inhale, put a bend back into the left knee. Right leg comes down, lift into warrior two. Let's find the position of the legs. Good, sinking down, inhale, reverse warrior. Reach up and through the left fingertips. Exhale, warrior two. Good, come into a side angle, left arm down. Rotate the torso open to the right. Right arm reaches up. And inhale, lift back up through warrior two. Exhale, hands down to the mat, moving through your vinyasa. Meet downward facing dog. Take a moment and take a few breaths in your downward facing dog. As you pedal through the legs, as you breathe deep and move through the hips, what is the self dialogue? Do you speak to yourself as you would speak to a loved one? Are you kind? Are you gentle? Are you loving? Good. Stilling the movement, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts up. On an exhale, step the, step the right foot forward, top of the mat, runner's lunge. Inhale, rise, crescent. Shoulders back and down, reach down through that left knee down towards the ground. You're going to shift the weight to the right foot. You're going to lift one-legged mountain pose. And then on an exhale, you're going to send that left leg back. Reach forward through the arms. The left leg reaches back. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale. Let the hands come down to the floor because I want you to grab your strap. And then you're going to inhale. Lift back up through warrior three. Reaching out through the arms. Inhale, lift the torso, one-legged mountain pose. Reach up. Good, so be mindful here. If you come out of it, it's okay. But gently, you're gonna let the hands come down, take the strap, you're gonna place it around the ball of the left foot. Send the left leg out. Strap is gonna come into the left hand, standing nice and tall. Good, like your back is against the wall. And keep reaching through that left leg. You're going to open your left leg out to the left side. So keep, stay there. I'm just going to face you. As you root down through that standing leg, use that strap to press into. Open your left leg out to the left side. Good. If you want to make a little bit more balance, your right arm can reach out to the side to help counterbalance. And gently draw the left leg back center. Lower the left foot to the floor. Release the strap, keep it handy. Inhale, arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, plant the hands, step or float back to, through, to downward facing dog through your vinyasa. Inhale, left leg lifts up. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Come to that runner's lunge, shoulders back and down. Inhale, rise, crescent. Reaching up, shoulders back and down. Back leg strong, reach out through the sole of the right foot. Shift the weight to the left foot, left leg, one-legged mountain pose, right knee reaches up. And then coming back into that warrior three, sending the right leg out. Stay nice and square on the hips. Reach out strong through that right leg. Exhale, hands come down to the mat. Grab your strap and then bring it back through warrior three. Inhale, lift back up through one leg in mountain pose. Good, stay balancing, adjust what you need. Strap's gonna come down. Place it around the right ball of the foot. Strap comes into the right hand, stand nice and tall. Extend your right leg out. And maybe you don't need the strap. Maybe your hands reach your foot. 
Open slowly your right leg out to the right side. Good, if you need more balance here, send the left arm out to the side. Good, keep pressing into that right leg, into the strap, the foot into the strap. Good, that foundation, the balance starts from the ground all the way up. Good, send that right leg forward. Come back to one-legged mountain pose, and then send that right foot down. Gently just take that strap aside. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half. Exhale, make your way to downward facing dog through your vinyasa. Inhale. Exhale, moving through your movements. Breath for movement. Pedal through your legs. Good, inhale, right leg lifts up. Exhale, step the right foot forward, top of the mat. Back heel's gonna come down, so it's heel to heel alignment. Keep that right leg straight, and you're gonna round your back over the right thigh. Inhale, lengthen through the spine halfway. Left hand's gonna come to the floor to the block beneath your shoulder. Right hand's gonna come onto the hip. Open your torso to the right. Your revolved triangle. It's a beautiful stretch on that hamstring on the right side. Keep the lift, left hip aiming forward. Open up through the arms and your chest. Lengthen through the spine. You may not feel like it, but your hamstrings should feel happy. Exhale, right hand comes down. Put a bend into the knee, rise to warrior one. So the hips are forward, bending in that right knee. Reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, bend the elbows, open your heart. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands come heart center. You're gonna shift the weight to that right foot, left leg lifts up, one legged mountain pose again. Yes, balancing again. You're gonna take right above the right ankle, cross it over the, sorry, the left ankle over the right thigh, sink back into like a chair pose. Keep pressing through the left heel. Pull the belly in, torso back. You inhale, lift up one-legged mountain pose. Left foot comes down you're gonna come into a chair pose. Press through the heels, direct your energy. Hands come heart center. You're gonna rotate the torso to the right. Gently take that left tricep on to the right leg. Shoulders roll back on the right. Pull the belly in. Inhale, prayer chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half and make your way to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up. Exhale, step it forward. Find that runner's lunge, strong through the core. Right heel comes down to the ground. Keep that left leg straight, round over the left thigh. And then inhale, lengthen that spine halfway. Right hand to the floor, or you can grab a block, in different layers of that block. Lengthen through the spine and rotate to the left. Left hand can come onto the hip, and then lift that left arm up. Keep rooting down through the feet. Energy up through the legs. Exhale, left hand comes down. Inhale, lift up to warrior one. Heel to heel, breathing up, good, connect. There's happiness when you're in perfect alignment. Exhale, bend the elbows, open up to the sky. Inhale, lift up. Shift the weight to the left foot, one legged like mountain pose. Cross right above the right ankle over the left thigh. Hands could come down heart center if you wish as you sink the hips back as if you were coming into a chair pose. 
Arms can also just reach forward. What seems natural? Inhale, lift back up through one legged mountain pose. Right foot comes down. Sink the hips back, coming into chair pose. Hands come heart center. Make sure you feel solid through your lower back and your abdominals. Rotate your torso to the left. Twisted chair. Bring the left shoulder back. Your hips are level. Strong thighs, strong hamstrings. Inhale, come back through prayer chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale through half. And then exhale, make your vinyasa back to downward facing dog. And then exhale, no, no. Come down to the knees, come to the toes, knees open up wide, come into a child's pose. Sink back through the hips. Check in with your hamstrings, check in with your mood, your energy. And then inhale, lift up through tabletop. Swing the legs around. Extend the legs out in front of you. And then we're gonna open up the legs a little bit wider. Heels are to the floor, toes up toward the sky. Inhale, let the arms reach up. On an exhale, you're gonna hinge forward. Maybe the hands come down to the ground. Maybe you grab a block and place it onto the block. So you're nice and wide on the legs, folding forward, heart toward the center. Keep pressing the heels in as if you were trying to scooch yourself forward, but at the same time, sending your hips back. Good, engage the thighs so you get a nice stretch through the hamstrings. Coming out of the pose, you can slide the hands or your hands onto the block, lifting up. So you're gonna put a bend into your right knee. You're gonna bring it in. You're gonna take the, your hand on the outside of the right foot, and then you're gonna lift that right foot off the floor. You're gonna draw that right knee in towards your right armpit. So shooting bow here, you're just gently just gonna press your knee back. You can stay here with your left hand on your thigh or bring it back behind you, or you're gonna fold forward. You can use your strap or your hand to the left foot, and then using that action of pressing the hand into the foot, foot into the hand, pulling the right leg back. Or I'm gonna show you what it looks like with the strap. Strap around the left ball of the foot, hand on the outside of the right foot, and you're pulling yourself gently through that left, sitting up nice and tall. And you're pressing your left foot into the strap. So if you know, it's called shooting bow. And you're pulling back that, the strings of the bow. Pull back with that right knee. Get one more breath cycle, nice and tall. Engage the belly. You're gently coming out of it. Slide the left, the, if your hands are on that left strap, slide it down. Gently let the right leg Release, and you can shake it out. Inhale, lift up, we're gonna fold forward. Hands to the floor, to a block. Check in where you felt it. Breathe deep. And then sliding the torso, the hands back, lifting up through the torso. And you're gonna put a bend into the left knee, grabbing the outside of the left foot. So your hands are right on the outside of the outer edge, the pinky toe, and you're gently just pulling that knee back. Hands can stay into the thigh, it can be onto the ground to lift up through the spine. Lift that foot so the knee is almost like a shoulder height. And then adding on if you wish, reaching down with the right hand so you can pull into it. I don't quite have that space. I'm gonna grab a strap, put it into the right hand. The side's totally different. And maybe you'll notice difference on your end. So bringing that left knee in toward the shoulder, pressing the right foot into the strap or the hand. 
slight bend in that knee as you need, not locking and keep breathing. Good, two more breath cycles. And then gently releasing. Release the strap, release the foot. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold forward. Pedal through the legs if you need. Move out of the lower back, your side waist. And inhale, slowly lifting up. Allow the legs to come back through center. Feet to the floor. Roll all the way back onto your back. Knees can come into the chest, hug in. Your left foot comes to the floor, grab your strap, whatever you have, and you're gonna take right above the right, the strap right above the right ball of the foot and then reach up. Strap is gonna come all the way into the right hand. Your arm can be resting onto the floor or maybe it's reaching up closer to the foot, or maybe you don't even need the strap and you can touch your foot. But I want that left hip to stay down, keeping your leg perpendicular to your hip and gently just pressing the foot down, the strap down onto the foot. And again here, if we're standing in you know, when you find your knees are bent a little bit, then bend them here enough just so you can slowly start pressing into the strap that you can get into the hamstring. If you want the left leg to extend out, you can, making sure the hip stays level. Really root down, stay grounded through that left hip. Keeping the strap into the right hand, turn your heel in toward the midline of the body and slowly open your right leg out to the right side. So what's gonna happen is your left hip is gonna wanna lift up. Don't let that happen. Keep pressing down through that left hip. And if this is, you know, if you're just right here, that's okay. Maybe if you can come a little bit more down toward the ground, if you have your block, or you can rest the leg onto something, but make sure you're still feeling that nice stretch. Keep pressing through the heel. You've got that little external rotation happening. Check in with the left shoulder, roll it back. The most effective stretch is to be with that deep breath. Inhale, slowly keep pressing the right foot into the right strap, lifting up. Keep the strap over the right foot. Take the strap into the left hand. Guide your right leg over to the left. So as far as you can go, maybe it comes all the way over. Maybe if you want to scooch the left hip to the center and have a little bit more space, bringing the leg all the way over. You're in control. Keep pressing through the heel, keep pressing into the strap. And it's not a death grip on the strap, it's just you're gently holding on to it. Make sure you're not, your knuckles aren't turning white. Good, nice outer stretch here. Same time, still getting the hamstrings. You can gently move, pull the strap so your toes are facing, you know, like you're gently pulling them towards your chest. A tiny little movement, you'll know. Stay nice and active through the left leg versus letting it go all limp. Nice foundation. Inhale, let the right leg lift up. You're going to take the strap, remove it from the foot. Knees come into chest, hug in. Before we switch sides, we're going to come into a happy baby. So let the knees open up wide to the armpits. Your back is onto the ground. Feet reach up to the sky. Hands can come back behind the hamstrings or reach up to your big toe, in between your big toe and your second toe. 
and gently just open up through the hips. Rock side to side. And then draw the knees back into the chest, hug in, and we are going to switch sides. Right foot to the floor, right knee bent, just so you we can figure out that foundation. Don't rush ahead to what you, you know, your end expression of the pose. So slowly get there and let's explore. Take the strap around the left ball of the foot, lift the left leg up. You're gonna have one hand on each strap, gently pulling down, but again, just finding just that perfect amount of tension. Or let that right arm rest. Right hand onto the right hip, extend the right leg out. Close up to the sky. And then close the eyes, and there's a slight little adjustments that happen, and you're like, oh, when you find that perfect spot. Keep scanning through the body with the breath. Identify any unnecessary tension in the neck and the face. Happiness in every inhale and every exhale. Know that your hamstrings are thanking you. So you're gently going to turn the left heel in toward the midline of the body. So you're drawing the heel in and then the toes are going to be toward the left shoulder and then open up the left leg out to the left side. Making sure that right hip is not lifting up. Start lifting up, press it down, and maybe bring that left foot up. Good, breathe. Identify any tension in the neck, the face, the shoulders. And then coming out of the pose, slowly lift the left leg up. Use that strap to help. Switch the strap into the right hand. Guide your left leg over to the right. Again, here, if you want, maybe you can scooch that right hip toward the center. Yeah, more space. You got almost a little of a rotation happening here. A twist. You can use that strap to press, pull the foot so the toes are reaching up. Left shoulder rolls back. Maybe the gaze comes over the left arm, left shoulder. Two more breath cycles. And using your next inhale, guide the leg out. And of course, if that feels better, stay there for a couple more breath cycles. Bring the hips back underneath you, release the strap, knees come into chest. Hug in, rock side to side or circles. And then allow the feet to come to the floor, the knees bent, arms alongside the body, shoulders back and down. Bridge pose, press down through the feet, lift the hips, shoulders back. Maybe you can interlace the fingers, bring the shoulder blades together. Oh, big stretch, the top, front of the body. Keep aiming the knees toward the top of your mat, away from your tailbone. Get two more breath cycles. Gently, when you're ready, releasing the hands, lowering all the way down. Draw the knees into the chest, hug in. Soles of the feet are going to come together, knees open up wide. Like we did this sitting up, you can let, wrap your hands around the outer edges of the foot. Soles of the feet come together. Gently just kind of move around through the lower back, the pelvis. Keep pressing the feet in.
Good. Two more breath cycles here. And happiness is when we get to breathe deep and connect to our center. And gently releasing, drawing the knees into the chest, hug in. Hug the right leg in, sun the left leg long, let it hover above the mat. And switching sides, using your abdominals, inhale, let the left leg lift and sun the right leg long. And then just alternate that a few more times. Keep the belly engaged. And then go ahead and extend both the legs out. And you might find yourself that you need to let the feet come onto the floor, the knees bent. So we're gonna inhale, use your abdominals and lift the torso all the way up, lift the legs up, coming into boat. So again here, so if the knees need to be bent and then you're gonna lower all the way down nice and slow. Good, four more times. Inhale, lifting into the boat pose. Maybe the boat pose, like I said, your legs are straight or the knees are going to be bent. And then lower all the way down nice and easy. Pause at the bottom and then pause at the top. Good. Inhale, lifting up. And maybe you find you have a little bit more length in the hamstrings to have those legs straight. It's a matter of using the core. So knees need to be bent. Hug them in. And come down slow. Good. Inhale. Lower down. And no, Shavasana is right around the corner. So know that. Make this last one slow. <laughs> Good. And then draw the knees into the chest. Hug. And I want you to close through the eyes. Close the eyes. Scan through your body. Check in with those hamstrings. Maybe lift the legs up. Draw the thighs in. And any movement here your body is craving. We did kind of a twist when we had the leg over, but if you're craving a deeper twist, you can bend the knees, let one, you know, let the legs come over to one side. I like to give yourself, you know, a, you this playful time to scan through the body and see what you need. Discover your happiness. A couple more breath cycles. And then whenever you are ready, unfold into your Shavasana. The legs could be long. Let them be wide, the feet just flop to the side so there's no muscles being used. If you have the towel or your blanket, you can place it underneath your knees. Help support the back, you can maybe place, place it underneath your back. You can place it on your belly for a little bit more grounding sensation. Whatever feels good. Find that comfortable spot. I will be sitting up so I can deliver some distant healing Reiki to you. I mean, just to melt into the ground. Take an inhale through the nose. Open the mouth and just release. Allow yourself just to relax.
Slowly begin to bring the attention back to your body. Begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle through your fingers and your toes. Circle sweep your arms up overhead and stretch from the fingertips down the front of the body out through the toes. And then exhale, let that go. One more big sweeping breath from the fingertips down the back of the body out through the heels. And then exhale, let that go. Gently put a bend into the knees. Guide your body to the right or left side for fetal position. Take your time, use that blanket or your arm to cradle that side of the head. Draw your knees up toward your chest. And here, maybe set an intention for what's gonna make you happy for the rest of your day, the rest of your evening, the rest of your week, month, year. But take it step by step. And every moment when you choose to find things that make you happy, it'll unfold until that next moment. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your actions, Dalai Lama. So your actions on what you do, your actions and your self-dialogue. Be loving, be caring to what you say to yourself. In turn, you'll be caring about what you say to others. Slowly bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position. And with the eyes closed and even moving through the body, and sensing maybe more an aliveness, a happiness through the body. Sealing in our practice, take a nice deep inhale, circle sweep arms out and up. Let the palms come together, exhale, thumbs to the heart center. Bowing down toward your heart center. And with your head bowed and your heart wide open, take this time to honor and thank yourself where you are on your path, on your journey. And from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me and getting your yoga fix today. Hope your hamstrings are happy. Hope your body is going to be happy. I didn't mention in the beginning of the class, but if you like music with your sequence, I have on Spotify under Karina Longworth a playlist called Happiness. So maybe you can check that out next time. Much love from me to you. Namaste.